greeting children this is the fifth video series lesson on an elementary school classroom in islam in this video we will look word meanings and question answers the first difficult word gusty waves real meaning is strong wind the contextual meaning is the childhood energy next word is weeds which means unwanted plants this children's hair is compared with the weeds pallor which means deadly pale face the face of these children next word weighed down which means bent down weighed down head and next word is paper seeming which means thin like paper very thin that is paper seeming next standard which means growth stopped that is standard the standard boy hair which means predecessor or inheritor or successor the successor or inheritor twisted bones which means bent bones the bended bones is called as twisted bones reciting means resembling or imitating reciting his father's nold disease that is resembling nold disease means twisting bone disease a disease that is chansa sour cream which means wet and creamy colored acidic smell producing next donations which means gifts or contributions in the classroom cloudless at dawn means a cloudless morning dawn means morning civilized dome which means the building edifice of cities edifice means an architectural fabric tyrolese valley a beautiful valley in austria that is tyrolese valley open handed map a kind of wallpaper map a vast world with hopes and opportunities that is called open handed map awarding the world its world which means the map is showing the vastness of the world in front of the onlookers that is awarding the world its world painted with the folk which means unclear and vague that is painted with the folk sealed in with which means covered with that is sealed in with the lead sky next a lead sky a sky covered with the smog smog means urban air pollution with noxious mixture noxious means very harmful like lead next cape a piece of land extending into a sea or lake that is cape its plural is capes stars of words which means motivations or hopes or good education now third stanza difficult words wicked which means evil or mismatching that is wicked another word is bad example which means a misappropriate unsuitable next tempting which means urging or persuading that is tempting another word is slyly which means secretively or apprehensively cramped holes means congested homes the children's homes fog to endless night from no hope to darkness slag heap dirt mound these children as a heap of waste skin spilled through by bones extreme hunger for these children their bones are seen through their skins spectacles of steel steel framed specks mended glass broken and repaired glasses like bottle bits on stones broken glass like a web crack foggy slum slum covered with fog or smoke blot which means mark or spot 
Doom, Ill-Fate, Destiny or Land Drawn on One's Head. Governor Inspector Visitor, the authority that takes decision on the school's functioning. Catacomb, which means cemetery or a graveyard, that is catacomb. Break the town, which means remove the restrictions in the slum world. Green fields means pastures new, which means new opportunities. Assure, which means a cloudless sky. Tanks run naked, which means without any restrictions. Books, the white and green leaves, which means knowledge from books and nature alike. History, those whose language is the sun, which means history is created by people with the bright thoughts. Now, question time. Let us check some questions. First question. Why does the poet say that the pictures and the map in the classroom are meaningless? Question number two. How does the world depicted on the classroom wall different from that of the children in the classroom? Question number three. Why does Pender say that Shakespeare a wicked? Number four. Why does the map become a bad example in the slum classroom? Question number five. How does the map on the wall tempt the slum children? Question number six. What does Stephen Spender want to be done for the school children in the slum? Now, question number seven. Who can create history? as according to Stephen Spender. Why? Eighth question. What was the dream of the unnoted child in the slum classroom? What does it signify? Question number nine. What is the future of these slum children if conditions remain like the present? Question number 10. Describe the children in the slum classroom. Question number 11. Why does the poet say that these windows, their world and not the map? Question number 12. Why does Spender say that this children's speech is unclear? Now, question number 13. Why does the poet say that the donations in the classroom tempt them to steal? And 14th question, the last one. Why does the poet urge to mark this children's map with the slums as big as do? For the description of each stanzas, the link is given in the description box. You can watch each stanza. Thank you for watching till the end.